Syria war, airstrike kills children in eastern Ghouta school. An airstrike has reportedly killed 15 children and two women sheltering in an underground school in Syria's besieged rebel-held eastern Ghouta region. Rescuers said civilians had been hiding in the school to escape government and Russian raids on the town of Arbin. More than 1,400 civilians are believed to have been killed since government forces stepped up an offensive on the enclave outside Damascus a month ago. At least 50,000 civilians have fled the siege in the past week. The exodus came after soldiers and allied militiamen drove rebel forces out of about 65% of the region, cutting it into three pockets. The UK-based Syrian Observatory for Human Rights SOHR, monitoring group reported that three missiles hit the underground school in Arbin, which is in the southern pocket controlled by the Fela Kalruman rebel group. In addition to killing 17 civilians, 50 others were wounded in the strike, Syria said. The Opposition National Coalition for Syrian Revolutionary and Opposition Forces posted a photo online purportedly showing the aftermath. It showed rescue workers standing underneath a large hole in the ceiling, from which several destroyed pillars were dangling. The coalition alleged that the school had been deliberately targeted by Russian aircraft, and that they were responsible for a massacre. There was no immediate comment from the Russian military, but it has previously denied carrying out airstrikes on civilians and civilian infrastructure. The pro-opposition Orient News website reported that at least 20 civilians were killed in a similar attack on another basement shelter in the nearby town of Zamwalka on Monday. It blamed new Russian missiles, which can penetrate several floors to reach underground locations. Orient News and opposition activists also said the town of Doma, which is in the northern pocket controlled by the Jaysh al-Islam rebel group, had been attacked with incendiary munitions filled with white phosphorus. UN High Commissioner for Human Rights Rad Al Hussein said on Monday that the government's siege had involved pervasive war crimes, the use of chemical weaponry, enforced starvation as a weapon of warfare, and the denial of essential and life-saving aid, culminating in the current relentless, month-long bombardment of hundreds of thousands of terrified, trapped civilians. Families are now streaming out of the area, but many civilians fear reprisals will be taken against them for their perceived support for opposition groups, he warned. 70% of those who have so far fled on foot are women and children, according to UNICEF. Many are in a very poor state of health, with children suffering malnutrition, scabies, diarrhea and respiratory infections. The UN Refugee Agency, UNHCR, said the makeshift collective shelters set up for the thousands of families fleeing was extremely congested and overcrowded and lacked basic sanitation, and warned of serious health risks. These people left with nothing and they need essentially everything from clothes to shelter, spokesman Andre Masik told reporters in Geneva. The agencies also expressed concern about the 104,000 people who have been uprooted from their homes by the battle between Turkish-backed rebel forces and the Kurdish militia for the northwestern border region of Afrin. A UN team that visited the nearby government-held town of Nablon Monday found exhausted the refugees who had trekked for hours through the mountains to escape. Local mosques and schools are now full of newly displaced people. The conflict in Syria, which entered its eighth year last Thursday, has killed more than 350,000 people and displaced more than 11 million others, 